Hi, this is Peter Newman. I have ANSYS Workbench version 19.2 and I'm going to look at uh, the geometry editor. When you pull a geometry editor out and drop it in, you get a question mark and if you double click on that, it will start Space Claim, which is this editor. And if you right click, you can tell it to know I really want to use Design Modeler for this instance and that's what design modeler is going to look like. Design modeler is the older more traditional uh, user interface that uh, is very good at slicing up uh, imported CAD geometry. It's uh, more difficult to build complex geometry using design modeler. You're much better off using space claim to build uh, complex geometry and it's also good at slicing up parts for meshing. So I have a space claim open here and I'm going to demonstrate that with uh, a picture that I can bring in using the file button on the assembly tab. And I can place that picture on the sketch plane and uh, use that to draw uh, the features of that to scale. Uh, so to scale means I need to uh, make the scale of this um, picture the same as the known dimensions of the part. Say it's an 88 millimeter wide part. If I select that image, I can tell it I want the aspect ratio to remain fixed and then uh, I can sketch, stretch it out to this dimension and uh, keep it um, to scale. So we're getting close to a 88 millimeter wide part. There we go. I'll call that good enough. And we're going to um, draw a sketch, which we're in the sketch mode. I can grab the circle, find the center of that line, and go out to 88 millimeters. Uh, I might also want to draw a, uh, a box on the bottom side for the rest of the part. And uh, let's call that 80, 80, 80 there. Now there's uh, something called a trim tool, which you can find here, which will trim away pieces you don't need. And that'll let you then do the pull tool to extrude um, that surface into a solid, let's call that solid 12 millimeters thick. So uh, at this point, we're going to want that big blend on the side and that's as simple as using the pull tool two clicks and then dragging it in let's drag it or let's type in eight millimeter corner blend so there's our blend <coughs> this part is hollow on the back so there's a shell tool where we can take away the faces that we don't want and tell it we want a six millimeter wall thickness so there's the, our back side and now we've got some bosses to draw in. Um, through experience I've learned to not draw the bosses on the face of this, but instead uh, pick this face to make a plane and move that plane just off the face so that I can sketch on that plane and uh, get what I want. And what I want is some small circles. Um, but the grid, if I bring up the circles, the grid snap is too coarse. So I want to uh, make it a much finer or turn off the snap to grid perhaps. There we go. So now I can um, hit that and come out and uh, it's like a 12 millimeter sized circle for these things. 12 and zoom out a little and zoom in down here. and 12. So with those uh, circles uh, sketched, if we click on the pull tool, they become surfaces. And if we grab those surfaces with the control key, we can pick them all at once. We can say we want to add these material to this uh, existing body. So now we've got our um, 
bosses but we want to trim them off so we use the split body and we want to split this body at this face and get rid of the tops and then we'll repeat that with the this face so you know with this face undo undo we will repeat that let's just uh, start clean split body this body on this face and get rid of these tops um, one of the things that we might want is um, a rib on the back and that rib would be sketched um, maybe on this plane so let's do a sketch and we'll sketch on this plane and we'll look down and sketch a few sketch a few lines here we'll start the sketch in the wall and um, we'll uh, just make We'll make the uh, rib uh, four millimeters wide and then we'll come down here and we'll parallel and we'll just there, there's a closed surface that we can now pull and we can pull it um, pull that surface which is this surface here add pull it down there it's inside the part and it's not breaking through and we can uh, again split the body this body at this face remove the extra so there's our rib on the back and uh, we want some holes on the front so we'll uh, grab the sketch tool and it's a little annoying when it disappears like that but here we can sketch on the back side uh, we can see the bosses we want the circle tool and we're gonna grab these edges here Let's do a five millimeter radius. Five. And use the pull tool, pull those all through. Undo. And let's now add some blends. If we uh, use the pull tool, which is still selected, double click there, control, double click, double click, double click. And the last couple need to hold the control key down and now we can pull them into a uh, it's up the top we can see a three millimeter blend here and there is our part I hope you got some useful information in this video thanks for watching